So the time is finally here. I finally have access to plugins. Let me just start this video by saying two things. Number one is please subscribe. Please like the comment. Please like the video. Please comment. I never say that, but I want to see if it actually helps increase my subscribers. Also, a lot of people will be asking me how I got this so quickly. I got this quickly because I'm currently paying for two ChatGPT pluses. Well, I'm paying for one. My boss is paying for the other. And I don't have one, I don't have it on this one, but I have it on uh, the iSuit uh, company, ChatGPT, which we use every single day uh, to save us thousands of hours writing descriptions. Okay, so how does this actually work? We have the option here, GPT 3.5 and also GPT 4. If you click the little thing here and press plugins, and then you can basically install plugins. This these allow you to browse the internet. Now there is a difference between browsing and plugins. I currently do not have browsing or I didn't earlier. Let's just have another quick look. So you just go down on the top left, uh, bottom left, sorry, click better features, features and enable plugins. And then yeah, do what I told you to do before. The ones I'm gonna be looking at in this video are all the SEO plugins. So WebPilot, which allows you to browse a web page and generate articles from one or more URLs, which is obviously going to lead to a lot of copying. Uh, that's not what I'm going to be showing you in this video, but this will definitely lead to a lot of copying. Ask Your PDF will allow you to upload PDFs, and Keymate.ai is a way to search the web by using custom search engine with Keymate.ai, your AI-powered web search engine kind of looks like they're going after Google right now, and this will definitely be super interesting. But what I thought it would be fun to do is actually give it a test. So we have this article here. Now, I want to say another thing about plugins. I have been testing them all day, pretty much. And another thing that I've noticed is they give very surface level uh, information that they could have just took from not even opening the web page. So the way that we're, I'm going to demonstrate that or the way I'm going to show whether it does or test whether it does open the web page or just reads the URL is I'm going to say uh, in the past, this article was ranking well for black tie attire on Google. However, we recently dropped down in rankings. Could you help me understand why? And then we're going to hit enter. And what this is going to do is, first of all, it's going to activate the plugin. So using WebPilot, it's going to open this web page, probably, although we will see if that's true or not in a moment. And it will then try its best to diagnose the reason why we could have fallen down in the rankings for black tie attire. Now, what I want to see is whether the advice it gives is useful or, like I said before, if it's just surface level information that isn't very useful. While that's loading, let's just have a look at the other plugins because I'm super, super curious what's going to be coming out. I think what there needs to be is a plugin that lets you input your website. And then it, it like does all the internal linking. It contextualizes everything for you. So I have been working on that, but I haven't really found anything that will do it. So if someone wants to make a ChatGPT plugin that will be the most popular plugin in the world, make one that reads your website, stores all the information, and then writes articles based on that information. Okay, we'll go back to looking at the other ones in a second, but I want to see what this actually comes out with. So based on the content of the article, here are a few potential reasons why it might have dropped in Google rankings for the term black tie tie. Content quality. The content of the article is comprehensive and well-written. Thank you. I think I actually wrote it myself, but I can't remember now. But it, no, I, think, I think Jasper wrote it, actually. But it might not be as up-to-date. Interesting. I'm stupid. That's literally the reason. Wait. wait, 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 wait. This was written two years ago, right? So this was written this year. This was two years ago, but it's Italian. This was this year. Wait, this, wait, it actually just helped me, like, a lot. <laughs> okay, this was technically written two or three years ago, but when we mo moved to the new website, everything was reposted on in, like, June 2022. 
uh, but this actual website, this actual article is a bit older. That's super interesting. Why did I not think of that before? That's probably the reason. Wow, it actually just it actually just solved the issue for me. I basically just need to update the article. I might even just write a fresh article now that I know more about the subject. That's a good idea. This actually worked. I'm impressed. Uh, let's keep going. Google's algorithm favors fresh, high-quality content that provides the best possible answer to a user's query. That is true, and I didn't think about that. SEO optimization. The article seems to be well optimized for the keyword black tie attire, but there might be room for improvement. For example, the keyword could be included more frequently in the text. Or the article will be structured in a way that makes it easier for search engines to understand. Let's do control F, black tie attire. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, I only mentioned it three times. I'm crazy. I need to re-optimize this page. It, it, it's right. It's completely right. Let me just show you what I mean, guys, uh, by the way, because I, I forgot to show this at the beginning of the video. Let me close that. Um, if I put this on 16 months, you'll see that this article was ranking incredibly well. I can't believe how well this is working. I wasn't. I, this video was supposed to be about how this doesn't work that well. <laughs> I normally don't, I try not to go into videos with like pre-judged things, like uh, talking, telling you what I'm going to talk about. But I, I was not expecting this video to go like this, basically. So you can see the article was written um, pretty early on. January 2021 does sound about right. It took a while, to be fair. It took a really long time, but it really started to pop out. It, at one point, I think it was getting 200 clicks a day, which is insane. And then it just kind of went down. And I think what happened here is people, other people uh, started writing. Because every year, big, big magazine-style websites like GQ, etc., etc., what they tend to do is they tend to write a new article for these big topics every year. And that is something I have to start doing. I, I need to stop hanging on to this particular article because it used to get 200 clicks a day. I need to take the advice of ChatGPT and I need to re-optimize and repost a better, improved article. Super, super interesting. I wasn't expecting this to work. Backlinks, the number of quality, number and quality of uh, backlinks to the article can significantly impact its Google ranking. If other, high, yeah, I'm not gonna get backlinks, so whatever. User engagement, Google, you also considers user engagement metrics such as bounce rate and time spent on page when ranking a website. If users are not spending much time on the page or are quickly bouncing to the search result, this could negatively affect the article's ranking. So one thing that I could do potentially is summarize, although I think this is a pretty good summary and also this is a summary. Um, yeah, it's just the website loads quite slowly, so that's probably what's going on there. Technical SEO issues with the website's technical SEO such as slow loading times, broken links, can you check if there are any broken links on the page? This would be interesting. I don't think it will be able to do this, but I would love it if it could. I will go crazy right now, right here, right now, if it does this. I can't see it doing this, to be honest. I, I, I just don't think it's going to. There should be some broken links on here. I'm not going to go into too many details as to why, but there should there should be at least one broken link on here. Doesn't look like it. I mean, this is a broken link? No, it's not, but it's not the correct link. We actually have a tuxedo section now. Accessories, ties, clothing, shirts, accessories, cufflinks. If you don't know, I'm looking at the bottom left. You probably won't be able to see it. Um, and I know whether something's broken or not. No, I don't think it does have any broken links. And I think I might have broken ChatGPT here. Oh, it actually did it. It actually did it. That's pretty interesting. So it, there aren't actually any broken links in. There shouldn't be. The reason I can tell if you're curious is because there's this link here, which is to a new page that didn't exist uh, in the past, which means that I have gone back and changed these links, basically. So this probably was a broken link that I actually fixed myself. So, but still, it's super, super interesting that you can actually pick that up. This is, this is a game changer, honestly. You can take your competitors' articles you can reverse engineer them using ChatGPT plugins. This is a game changer. I'm super excited to see what else this can do. So another thing I want to try 
uh, let's just start a new chat here so that we don't confuse it. And I'm going to say, what, what I did was I searched for black tie attire on Google and I just took the, um, the S-E-R-P U-R-L. I'm sorry if you don't know what that means, but it just means the link to the, to the Google page. And I'm going to say, I want to rank for black tie attire. Can you look at the, this S-E-R-P and analyze it for me and give me uh, ways to rank for this keyword. Um, I did try this earlier and it worked pretty well. Uh, it worked a lot better than the last test that I just did, which worked really well this time, which was <laughs> kind of fun and confusing. We'll see how this goes. Uh, yeah. Okay, so based on the SERP for black tie attire, here are some observations. Top ranking websites. The top ranking websites for this keyword are authoritative sites in the fashion and wedding industry, such as Brides, the Emily Post Institute, The Knot, Vogue, and GQ. I, you know what's interesting, actually? I wonder if they're searching in Italy or in, in America. Because is this the Brides, Vogue, British GQ... I don't actually know. I don't know how to answer that question. The Emily Post, I can't see here. Can I? Oh, yeah, I can. Okay, never mind. Um, the Knot, Vogue, and GQ. These sites provide comprehensive guides on black tie attire, including what it means, what to wear for both men and women, and the do's and don'ts. Content type. The content that ranks high is primary, primarily informative and educational, providing detailed guides and advice on black tie attire. This is super useful if you are new to SEO and you don't know what you're doing. What you can do is you can take good keywords and if you don't know how to read the SERP, like me, for example, I know that these are all informational. I know immediately what type of content to write, but you might not. So this is super, super helpful if you don't know this information already. Providing detailed guides and advice on black tie attire. This includes what it is, when and where it's appropriate, and specific items that fit the dress code. People also ask. The people also ask section includes questions like, this is also really, really useful. What is the, obviously you can get this information yourself, but it's just nice to see this. What is the dress code for black tie event? What is the, what is black tie dress code for men? This suggests that people are looking for specific information about black tie attire including what it means and what specific terms, items of clothing are appropriate. Based on the analysis, here are some strategies for rank to rank for this keyword. Create comprehensive guides. Sorry, I don't know what's wrong with my reading today. Develop, actually I do know it's my glasses, I'm not wearing them. I broke them. Develop detailed and comprehensive guides on black tie attire. This could include what it is, when it's appropriate, and what specific items of clothing are suitable. This is actually SEO gold, okay? It might seem really obvious, or at least for me, it seems really obvious. But if you don't know the niche, and if you don't know how to do SEO, I cannot think of a better way to show you how to rank than this sentence right here. These five or six points, I guarantee if you don't know about SEO, and you just read these, and you don't know anything about fashion, you read these, and you write an article, you will rank. Maybe not first, but you will rank. Answer common questions. You the pe this is exactly what I tell people every day. Use the people also ask section as a guide for the kind of questions people have about black tie attire. Make sure your content answers these questions. That's incredibly good advice. It might seem obvious, but it is incredibly good advice. Use relevant keywords. Make sure to use relevant keywords throughout your content. This includes black tie attire dress code, tuxedo, evening dress. That is unbelievably good. Unbelievably good. Optimize for SEO. Use SEO best practices to optimize your content. This includes using relevant keywords in your title and headers, meta descriptions, and internal and external links. Promote your content. Share your content on social media, email, newsletters, and other platforms. That's a very good idea too. You could also consider using paid promotion, maybe. Update your content regularly. This is also really good advice. This is what I haven't been doing, and this actually has changed a lot for me because now I know that, obviously I knew this already, but I'm just so focused on a million different things, and I wanted to get this particular article to rank better because 200 clicks per day on one article is better than 20 clicks per day on 10 articles, in my opinion. So... This is really, really good advice. I'm really glad I made this video because it's given me the advice I needed. And it's also given you guys the advice you needed. This is the web, what's it called? The web something, web pilot 
Google, uh, ChatGPT plugin. It's a thumbs up from me, 10 out of 10. Expect more videos on plugins and thank you for watching. Peace out.